There's two players from CLG Red ready and waiting. Nita is gonna get the first kill, but she gets threaded right away by <laughs> the Nini. Now Mindo doesn't miss out the shot onto Lori. Anything quite yet, but we'll show them there's at least a presence. First up, Diana gets one. She can't overheal off it, but Chobo pushing. She knows there's little time and wants to stop the spike. She can't. She'll still get a frag, and so will Annie Maul. So now it's just flowerful. Left in the clutch. Chobo solo on HP, but they swing together. We'll get the first blood into this round, but Nimi, the timer is running out. Yeah, it's down low, but that's a great paranoia. Lori gets the burns and they're picking up. Oh, Lori tried to get one, but Chobo's friends keep looks for that first bag, walks away. The rest of CLG, they just want to stop the plant, but it not Han. Has the shock darts for one frag. And now, with the plant down, it's dire straight for the lighter buy here of CLG. Naomi, though, does get one. Rise pushing up as well. They've gotten this very close. Naomi has pressure from the back lines. Fleet Flack down to just 8 HP. And recovering to a weapon and gets the frag as well onto Panini. This is very doable now. It not Han. Last standing, one player, one HP. She's popped out the omen. That was the only healthy one in the server. It's into group 1v1, but Naomi on the rope, ready for it. CLG, they keep it flawless up to 3. What an insane round from Naomi. I well, slow down for a moment. Fight, but over towards mid, Diana gets a great fight. That's the op down. Yeah. Very early on, Steph. Resurrection in play, though, for CLG. But Flowerful doesn't want to let that happen. She knows the Sage might be greeting for this. As we can leave for position, Bobo's pushed up. Still gets the frag. Maybe a second point for her. No, she'll push away. Lori gets it. However, the resurrection is up for beneath the Hunter's Fury out trying to do something and the resurrected Benita again back into the grave rise now in the backside blinded off holding in close here it's on the other side the plant initiated she wants to come in for a fight she'll get it rise for one on it not Han now it's a three on three here rise looking for a fight she knows there's one very close in onto her you know they're right on the other side of the cover, no, but the rest of CLG sure does find the impact, and now it's just Lori. A 1v2, has the blades up, she has to get Rise off the spike, and will have to push quickly, dashes up, and Lori falls. CLG another- Obstructing CLG's defense and going hella fast when Wurikun goes low. This first CLG is like, aha, uh -huh, don't give us the opportunity play our game but Lori with a double coming in inside of a here two versus three no resurrection in play this time for clg but it doesn't matter animal here is gonna get the kill while she gets flanked though all in the end of naomi and she's been doing so much this half so far she knows where it nahan is planted gets the kill and it's a one versus one spike planted there's no idea where Panini is, and that's a great position for her to be. That omen. Teleport here, thanks so much. But Naomi's still getting the one versus one. How did Panini lose this? The homie swinger crosshair in her aim oh. as if even her... The consistent thing that CLG strives at, Steph, it's when they yeah. have the advantage, when they're allowed to play a default, but this isn't a default, this is aggression for the game. Just one on the lurk, no spike here, but Flowerful finds two on the entry. Rise on the trade back, a resurrection in place still, and they'll disengage. Now the fake can come to fruition, but look where the push is from CLG. They have mid control here. Naomi, even if she doesn't cut this off, she'll hear them starting to trundle their way towards the B site, and that allows a resurrection, and this allows advantage in a retake for CLG. Naomi is ready for the flank. Is Lori going to be able to catch her? No, she still checks. The timing is going to be off it's clear. for Lori here. The yeah. think it's clear now. Lori ready, spots out one, Naomi the Discipline, and the first shot, that's Lori gone, a second chance, but Panini has the trade, still rises up closer than they'd ever expect, and she'll find three in the round, CLG, they haven't dropped one yet. Alright, I want to see a moon. It, it might be Benita, no, she doesn't hit the shot, falls away, the damage, and she will be killed by Lori, now the plant can come down, they have so much in this post plant, so much to work with, but CLG waiting. They'll work back into this. They'll fight their way into the round. And MRB has a great post plant set up Chobo. In these back lines, will start the push in with her dart and with that lockdown. 
Now comes the Hunter's Fury now. That'll delete the space they're trying to gain. But still, they're up close. A wall could keep them off. Tap on the spike. Now the other Hunter's Fury available. Annie Maul pushing. But Lori trading back. He wanted to see something from her. And now she's coming alive. The Mollies will kill one. But Naomi still finds two in the back line. Now time ticking away consistently. Rise needs kills. Needs a push. The time's not on her side. She has to hold. And there's nothing left she can do. Finally, the Moon Raccoons get on the board. for them. It'll have to be the committal into this site. Naomi still on the close line, blind up. That initiates the hit. Naomi still here, pushing up wide, but they think she's here. Benita in the back line fighting. Rise has a crossfire. Now the spikes on the floor, and they're pushing into a death trap. Everyone getting torn to pieces, except it not Han, and she's not even on the site. She gets two, and it's down to a two on three, but time still of the essence. Ten seconds. The Moonokins have to get out now. Flowerful one, the wall dissuades him for a moment. Have to reload, have to push. Just the classic in hand, and the shot's still through from Flowerful. She has time to plant. Animal late to the show. Just one shot would do it. Flowerful needs to make this perfect. Swing out, looking for the fight. Animal again, winning it. CLG, they're stifling any momentum, any shot that the Moon Raccoons have shown. Yeah, and again. Yeah, this is CLG's best map by far, just because of the showing that they're... Like, just the way they've played every single team on this map, it's just been great. Even though they lost versus TSM on it, which is kind of interesting to think about. Once again, though, first bloods and second bloods coming in from CLG. Gonna be really hard for Moon Raccoon to win this round. Lori's gonna have to go big here as she gets the first kill, but unfortunately, she's gonna fall to Naomi right away. Naomi already has two frags. Far for the last one standing turret. Keeps her away. I mean, it's already a one on four. They're all peeking at once. And this might be too little too late, Mimi. It might be. It is best of three, so there's always a chance, but the piss round would be great. And that's great from Lori. She finds a shot onto Benita, looking for more, still peeking out. And Lori has a second Panini now in a tough spot. And Chobo jumps with the classic for it. Lori, another chance for a fight. Up close on her. This is the one chance the Motor Queens have. Remaining. And they're looking better. The dynamic duo, Lori and Diane, doing everything they need. And it will be them, the two players we wanted to have hitting their Are full. And Lori are ready. They are ready and waiting. Flowerful on the other side of the dark covers. You see them all run past and can spray away for two. Looking for some more. And it will be comfortable, but look at the minimap. All of Moon Raccoon is ready. There's going to be these 5v5 retakes we talked mm -hmm. about where they were so successful in the past. Yeah, and out it will come and Chobo. I mean, she has the first. That's one of the rifles available already hitting. Benita so aggressive. And Naomi has a flank. Finds one on the spray. Benita low, but still finding frags into this. The Moon Raccoons, they seem scattered, stuck down to the sewers. And out comes the peak from Benita. She takes some more flak. The utility's still up. Moon Raccoons are trying to hold this to half. They won't be allowed because CLG swinging out, winning the fights they need. And cl push back and forth and at least distract. And that was key here because not all players from CLG Red were stuck towards yellow and towards the left side boxes on that B side. And I think contact, but she doesn't know quite yet. They're walking up. She spots the first, finds a frag, needs more though, and can't get it. That's the trade from Annie Mall. Now the wall's down, plant coming in in the resurrection as well. This could spell disaster for the moon raccoons. Naomi, another one. It's just three left alive to work in on this retake. The dark cover keeps them away for now. And the post plant setup, well, it's really good. It's, it's everything you need. Diana though, she has this temper. She has that ultimate ability to work with. Could it be enough? Could it be what the Moon Recruits need? I mean, they need speed. They need to pick up the pace. They're still not even tapping the spike. And there's paranoia already, but Chobo has two, and they're just getting torn to pieces. A really young team that's going to keep progressing. So no matter the outcome of this map, I'm excited for it. But CLG is going to go ahead. Be set here for Moon Raccoon. The CLG doesn't want any of it. They keep going aggro. Benita getting the first, but Chobo cleaning this up. CLG. A go for the kills, but they're still playing a little more passive, playing it a little more smart because they know that MRB might think that they want to do that after the showing they've had thus far. That wall is up on Garage, makes that a non-factor, and B-Site will be the committal up for the Moon Raccoons. Animal is here to spray down the anti-eco queen, but it might just be Chobo instead because she finds three. But we're going to have to see that 
eco happening now. Except Diana with her Marshall, and she's gonna get a beautiful kill onto Benita. Coons, they're in a pretty good spot here, but the aggression's up, and so is the resurrection. So Benita back in play, and they'll adjust back towards the seaside. And all of Moon Raccoon is getting ready for a pop execute, but Rise Pyranoia is also ready, and she's gonna throw it and hope that Shobo can swing and get some kills. Ooh, Diana. But Diana with the triple, and she's gonna be able to hear herself. Yeah, Alpha comes two versus three. Here. Yeah, Diana Last making a case Danny. for the possibility of this, but she's alone now. One up long, they could just shoot her. Her body's out in the open, and I think this is over. Goodbye, yeah. Diana, and goodbye the chances in the world about them still being so passive here. I don't know, we might have to wait for that question because the Hunter's Fury has just killed Diana. Everything is going CLG's way. It's kind of, you know, I mentioned there was a, a little bit of luck, but there's definitely something going on. They need to buy some lottery tickets because look at this. Everything that they're doing, not only are they getting away with little whiffes, but they're also killing Moon Raccoon without even seeing them quite often. Yeah, it feels like the structure isn't really working their way because CLG is just pushing extremities everywhere. But no, maybe it's still working because the Moon Raccoons have found a few frags. Where are they now? They have Seasight Control. They have a post plant. Laurie bonks her head on the ceiling trying to dash up. So they have a post plant. Trying to long, but one of these players already so low. Work back in. He's waiting a moment for CLG. They don't have a wall in play. They might just have some cloud bursts. So this long positioning be really big for the girls of MRB. They really need this round. Desperately so. The site now cleared ever so carefully. She's on the spike, trying to hold it to half, but the paranoia is up. Both Cloudburst use Animal. She wants to hold this, wants to keep it going, but it's already half. That's really big for CLG because the Moon Raccoons now have to swing out, have to fight. Panini finds two. It's a 1v1. Shobo not on the spike. It's already half. She still has time, but has to dash away. Hit on Han spraying, and she gets it. MRB again, they'll find a round. This time, able to fall away. The Moon Raccoons can't seem to punish. Out onto the site, they come. It not Han finds Benita towards middle, but on the site, the blind's good to at least get one frag. That's onto Rise. One in hell, though, Chobo. How has she managed to find two frags? How is she still fighting? With HP on her side, the Cloudburst will fall, and she's blinded out by Panini. So a two on three. MRB, they maintain the vantage, but the retake for CLG can come in quickly. Swarm grenades keep them out. On one front and up in heaven, Naomi's position should now be known by the Moon Raccoons. She's peeking out, looking for a shot. The crossfire's good. She still gets one and now has to hop up, has to do something. She's just not wanting to get executed on. And Naomi ready in close, but Diana prepared for the fight. Has to keep pushing here. No time to heal. Wants to double down on this advantage. The slow orbs up. Here comes the from the shadows. Where's that taking? Into the back site for a teammate. It's Chobo to do in for Diana. She'll dash away, trying to get antsy through the smoke, and she'll push again. Cloudburst allows it, and they're in quickly onto the site. Annie Mall expects Panini. Is she ready? Yes, she will be. Chobo helps out as well. Now it's everyone towards long. Free from CLG to the two of MRB. And everyone's on site, everyone's ready. So smokes keep them off. Shock darts incoming, we see it. It's already half through the smoke though. Might deny that. Chobo takes one, Chobo takes four in the round. What is she made of here? They take the fight straight in, but it won't happen. They decide against it, disengage for the time. And CLG, as the sneaky players of the Moon Raccoons tuck in, so too does CLG. They have the perfect read here. The only X factor yep. is that one lurker towards mid. Not only do they have the perfect read, they but it? when, yeah, when Moon Raccoon is gonna push, like everything is gonna be conquered. CLG is just ready. There's four the Lori. players. <laughs> Lori gets so many. Naomi on the trade back into the 3k flowerful another on the site the moon records they want to fight into this stuff they they wanted to execute but i mean deny the plants of the spike for the moment why well, still here lori up close wants to fight into it has it now that's the lori that we're looking for the one hitting shots taking fights and winning them but she can't do two trouble for that now they're running back from diana but everyone's escaping from her she'll at least upgrade her weapon 
if nothing else. Now the Moon Raccoons, they're tucked into the site, not playing from long, not playing in close, but Diana ready, and so is Panini up top, one for her. Now the Moon Raccoons, again, they have advantage, but we've said that before, and it hasn't always worked. Panini ready for this. The lockdown keeps them out, but now here they'll come. Rise finds it, the better Spectre. Diana ready with a flash, but can't get it. Now it's just flowerful. This shouldn't be a clutch. It shouldn't be this close. And now she'll have to do it. Swarm grenades keep them off. Time ticking away. A huge factor for CLG. They need to hold on to this. They need to keep on it. She's spamming away. Wants to get Benita off. Benita's holding it though. Is when they've been successful. It does feel like that's the main key to their success. The Moon Raccoons again. This time they're going quick. But the blinds go both ways. And Benita seems to be the victor of it. She has two on the site already. Still kicking at the Moon Raccoons. They're forced to disengage. They're forced to waste stuff. Yeah, but CLG has that read. We see Chobo here pushing towards A and clearing it while the rest of CLG is already towards C. We have two members of CLG getting ready and that recon is not even going to give much intel. That paranoia ready. Rice is looking to just get three Bs here. She's going to get, she's going to get the first kill. Oh, that was a struggle. And she's going to fall onto Panini. Oh no. Yeah, and now the Moon Raccoons, they seem to have control of this round, but it's only a two-on-two. Two. It's not confirmed either way. Rotates a bit late from Chobo, and Naomi's already up on the site. She knows they like to play from long, so will be able to clear it out, get themselves into position. That's one swarm gone. That's crucial seconds. Taking off the stall clock of the Moon Raccoons. Chobo on the spike. Naomi sitting in. I think they think it's covering it, because she just stuck it to have. And Naomi just got a crucial pick onto Panini. Just three seconds. She has to be casting it off. She will. Looking for the adjustment. And Flower still. These rounds are too close for comfort. Yeah, they are. The Moon Raccoons again. Coming up onto the site. This time they have an anti-eco at hands. But Animal and her Bucky. Name a better duo between the Sage and that weapon. And Naomi in the back line with her cages. Wants to come into things. The Moon Raccoons, they want to make this a 5-7 half. They really need to. But CLG still is trying to give him a run for the money. Retreating towards long, flowerful for one. It's just two players left for CLG, and with the weaponry at hand, it shouldn't be a possibility. Naomi, kicking up towards long, gets one. A flash down to 5 HP, and in a 1v3, the Mali will do it. Getting to that grand final, but Shobo here is gonna be that spacer, that entry duelist that CLG is looking for, but this time she's gonna get shut down right away by Hitnahan. Yeah, now they have... What we'd like to see for the Moon Raccoons, those retakes and heavy odds for both, but now they have advantage. And they'll start to actually make their way towards Garage. They need to fight this control, they will. Takes care of Naomi. So now 5v3 on the cards. They're starting to get on the spike. Shock darts up, so are the blinds. And in close, in your face, Lori has you. Benita, last in the window. Spike should become defused. She shouldn't have a chance, and she won't. This pistol. This could be a pretty successful read here from CLG. It sure could be, but Diana's pistol that you talk about works well. She actually picks up two. How is she doing this against rifles, against the superior weaponry? She might not be able to. Still, the moon raccoons, it's over before it even started. What? Before they can get the spike down, they suspect Panini. She peeks out, gets one. Traded through, though. That's a good advantage to be found by the Moon Raccoons. They can play retake here, what they love to do. And out will come It Not Han, crunching in on Chobo. Benita fights one, but Chobo blindsided by the Sova. The remainder of the CLG players in the link fighting their way back into the B site where this all started. And finally now the spike can come down. No, they're actually going all the way to A. I love this call, but with only 30 seconds left, Andres Fury could at very least delay if the Moon Raccoons want to invest it. They will. Keeps her off the plant for now. Now Rise trying to go back in for it on a double dip. She will, and now that's no tag with the Hunter's Fury. And in the post plant, there is one for CLG, Lori. She's up top looking for something, but they're going so quickly, Steph. They have so much information. Tap on the spike. This should force out the Hunter's Fury, but in comes Lori, and she whips the right click. Benina could be on for an ace here, and she won't be because Rise has the last one. The Moon Raccoons, they have. Video was the play here. I don't know. She sees one to jump up. That's oh, perfect from Laura. She wants. She heard you, Steph. She's gonna redeem herself right now. I like it. Yeah. Now for CLG. Remember last time they had the the disadvantage. They had the player down, and they still could recover because MRB got a little bit overzealous with it. They weren't winning the fights. 
Drone versus drone at middle. Both teams trying to gather some intel. We want to know where our players are playing, but I like this Hunter's Fury slash positioning from CLG, but they're still falling left and right. Lori up through the smoke there with the AWP looking for a frag. It won't come. Instead, it's Chobo. The Jet V Jet won by her. Again, this B site compromised, and MRB is holding on to the extremities. But that's exactly what CLG want. They're pushing up. Run it back in. Flowerful has to protect Diana, and she will very well for two frags. Just Benita left alive, but just Benita. That's a scary proposition. 30 seconds. She knows where they are. She can go to see, but she still wants a fight. Both now low. They could invest the ultimate here, but they're not going to want to, probably. But they might have to still. CLG, which is Benita, but she has the spike down. And they're waiting for this. They'll have to rotate in stuff. They have... She has one shock dart, and now a recon bolt as well. So, this is a winnable situation. This is exactly what Flarful won for her team a little bit earlier. So, Benita has plenty of time to play this clutch Mm -hmm. There's yes, nothing lots. to block that vision to from Maroon, from no, Moon Raccoon. Not. Now Benita peeking out with the recon, gets one in the second as well, Benita! They'll choose to use it. I don't know if they have anything to counter it, unless shock darts can come in. And for CLG, they seem relegated to moving away from disengaging from it. Diana has the molly in for graffiti. The push comes out, so a trade each way. Lori up top in heaven has the off. This can work well for her. If she can find a clean shot, Flowerful on the fuse. Lori misses, but she's bailed out by Panini, who keeps pushing. Benita's still here, but the fuse comes through cleanly, and the Moon Raccoon's on the retake. Regain their advantage. The off of paw position there. She has support from Diana to fight through the smoke. Chobo spraying. Diana should have the refract in the bag. She will. And also curveball up, and no one to face her immediately. So she'll escape with her life, and Flowerful pressure towards long. CLG reassess. Yeah, good trades here, but we have Benita already up in garage. Good instinct play here as the whole uh, rest of her team is going to be pushing. She needs to stay alive to at least control that connector area, and she will. Great play from Benita. She can't overextend or welcome her an extra body here for CL Juliet is going to be key, and that's what she does. She's just going to fall back and secure the flank for CLG. It's a three versus four retake, Mimi. It is now flowerful. Up with the rifle, one directly below her. She's ready for the frag onto Annie Mall. Remainder of CLG here. Backed up, except Benita. She has a flank, recovers a weapon now. This could be huge, and it might have to be. There's just Flowerful left. Might not be ready for Benita to her right, and it doesn't even matter because Naomi's there in this. They do have the lockdown as well as the run it back mm -hmm. to find their space back into things here. When will they use it, though? When is it time to strike? Because CLG knows about the retake plays. We see one up on the flank, and Naomi on the lurk here. This is so sneaky from Animal. She loves doing these things yeah. with walls to just hide in. We've seen it on split before. What can she do this time? Let's see. Naomi for the first. Diana has the flank now ready for it. Time is ticking away. The Moon Raccoons have to go quickly. What can the wall set up these manual? So peek out, let one pass. No, spamming away. Now she's known. And Lori has the knives. Still alive behind the wall. Still finding frags, actually. How is she still here? It's just Benita. She has the clutch. She's ready for this. Done it many times before. And she has to do it again. Hunter's Fury up now. It's already half. Already there, but the time's so low. They have to push. They have to kill her. They'll get her off. But the, it can't come through. It's way too for them, so... I like what I'm seeing here. A little bit of a default coming from CLG, but Benita is going to get killed. The spike is down towards A as kills are getting exchanged towards B and A long. We have a res here coming on to Benita. Yeah, resurrection in place. So CLG regain advantage. It's a little awkward for them now. Hunter's Fury available. Will they choose to use it? They will, but it feels too late because it's not going to stop the plant and it might not even get a tag. Waiting for it? No, she won't connect. Nothing to come of it. Recon dart for the retake in five seconds. You probably wait for that. Use that and the molly to push in. Wall broken. Every second 
will continue to put CLG in the right place. Panini already wary of the flank. It on Han's drone coming past doesn't check on Animal hiding behind the wall in graffiti. She's done this so many times, can she do it again? It not Han has the recon up, they'll start to push out. Molly's good to find Naomi, but the time's still taking away. They need to get on the spike soon, but it's just Benita, and Benita has been a thorn in their side. They need to push, need this revenge, but there's just no time on the defuse stuff. They waited too long. So many rounds in a row, Benita. They wanted everything to be perfect so much that they didn't have enough time to defuse. Yeah, they killed everyone, but again, back to back, a little too little too late for towards Evan. Towards L, excuse me. There'll be no fake, Mimi. We're just gonna straight up execute towards A for this last round of regular time. Yeah, Diana has the entry though. They have to go quicker. This is always the spell of disaster in the retakes. Here comes the ultimate. The lockdown pushes CLG away. And the Moon Raccoons are ready. They've learned from their errors and they'll come in quickly clearing out the site. And they know that everyone's boxing along. That hot hands could do a lot, but Animal's still fighting. She falls. And the Molly Naomi swings out for one, maybe a second. No, spamming away. Still gets it, though. And Tobo has this flank up. It's just on to Flowerful. She has to win it to keep her team in it. She can't. 